What is up, UT? We are back. Sorry for my son yelling. He just woke up, so... Anyways, we're back today. We're gonna go do us some small mouth catching. We got the day off, and uh, yeah, should be a lot of fun. Um, everybody out there I've been hearing coming into work has been getting into a little bit of small mouth just pretty much wherever they go. So water is definitely warming up nicely. Um, we're probably gonna just go hit Hell's Gate again. Um, unfortunately, my Washington license expired yesterday no day before yesterday so uh that's a big bummer but uh whatever it is what it is payday we'll get that renewed up and we will be back fishing in washington once in a while so we'll see how that goes but uh it's cheaper for me to buy my washington because that is the state i live in um yeah my out of state my idaho is ridiculous but uh oh well i, I most of the time fish idaho so i'm not worried about it I have to get one every year apparently so it's just how it's got to go but anyways we're gonna get out there do some smallmouth fishing and uh, we should be able to get into some fish today for sure so uh, show you guys what I have tied on and what we're gonna be throwing bunch of little like, square bills so got this little white and black square bill I actually picked this guy up from Walmart for a buck so it was like a buck fifty super cheap we're actually kind of going a little bit cheaper out on what I'm throwing today, but not not too bad. Um, probably probably most expensive is going to be that that the tube jig setup that I'm running. Um, anyways, and then we got a little uh, baby brush hog we're going to be throwing around, just a weighted weighted baby brush hog, and uh, yeah, we'll be scooting scooting that on through the water, so we should be able, should be getting some hits on that. Um, they're st still a little bit lethargic, so I uh, kind of got to let it sit in front of their face for a few minutes and really let them munch on it, but that's all right. And last but not least, and I have yet to show you guys this, um, if you want, I can do a rigging video on it, on uh, how, uh, how about, you know, how you go about rigging it. A lot of people rig it a bunch of different ways, and uh, I found it to work a little bit, a little bit easier and a little bit less destructive on my tubes this way but uh this is the stupid rig as a lot of people call it if you look it up there's yeah just a bunch of different ways to to rig it and uh for the most part you destroy your tubes like this like trying to rig it up um everybody's like oh just get your tubes wet just do this just do that you'll be fine no no you're not fine um well you really gotta like figure out a good a good way to rig it and uh, what I figured out works the best everybody says that you want to take your your standard tube with the frills on one end and you want to set your hook through the frill end all the way up to about I don't know just about like yay that much right out of the tube head and uh, then you want to turn your your whole tube jig around inside the head and then reconnect your your hook end with the the frills and like the butt end of the tube. Uh, yeah. Every single time, I guarantee you this. Like every single time you go to twist that tube jig inside the head, you're gonna rip some of the tube. No matter what, you're gonna rip it. So what I found out works a little bit better is because you're already gonna rip it. Make the small. Make that hole really small right off the bat you know so instead of hooking your main hook end all the way through the end of the frills or tentacles whatever you want to call them don't even start right there put your hook end through the head all the way through both sides but here's the trick you're gonna want it to be kind of parallel so you're actually gonna want the hook point to come out further down from where you put it in the head so you're gonna Stuff it through the head, but then you're gonna go a little bit further down and then poke it out. And then pull that, pull your jig head all the way through so it's sitting inside the head. And once it's sitting inside the head, you're just gonna twist it around. It'll pop out that same hole that you went through. So that's what keeps that, that hole a little bit smaller. 
everybody says it's like gonna destroy the tube because of the weight part pulling all the way through the tube but what I've noticed is it does not destroy as much tubes it keeps a smaller little hole it'll go back to that little hole as soon as you get done bringing your bring your weight through it and you don't destroy the bottom half of the tube so that's how you do a stupid tube and we're gonna be throwing that today and seeing if we can catch some fish so we'll get out there have some fun so uh, catch back up with you guys here in just a moment well we're finally hooked up with one finally finally just a little guy on the tube Came and snaked it out of nowhere, so finally we got one. So we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. He is a little shook up, to say the least. So we're gonna go ahead and give him the toss back in. And he swam off, good to go. Heck yeah, first, first smallmouth of the day. Let's see if we can get another one. Yeah, buddy. Super glad. Finally came. Got something. Got nibbled finally. Very light, finicky bite, but I managed to get into him. What is up, guys? We are back. We are at home now. Wrapped things up on the water and uh, unfortunately didn't have any luck after that one fish. So, uh, kind of a bummer. It just seems like every time I've been going out, I've been catching one guy and then back in the water and I can't seem to get into another fish. So, I don't know. We'll see if we can break that streak, I guess, and uh, do better. I don't know. Catch, catch a couple more fish in one day at least, I'm hoping. But um, at least we got into something today. I'm super jacked for that. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the rest of this week uh, we can get out a little bit and uh, try try to get something. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm sorry it's not more content. I'm sorry there's not more fish being caught. It's still pretty cold up here on my area. We got like couple days of 60s so that warmed water up enough for the fish to kind of get moving a little bit more than they were so at least I'm at least every time I'm going out I'm catching one fish but I would like to be catching a little bit more for you guys so um, anyways it's it's something it's something it's something we're gonna get around a couple more areas um, I'm, I've been just stuck on Hell's Gate because I've been actually catching something there and uh, I gotta move around for sure. I gotta get out there and try a couple other spots. So we'll get back out with you guys later on this week and I'll get back with you. Uh, stay tuned, guys, because I'm uh, gonna try and get up a live stream tomorrow evening. So I'll try to get this video up tonight for you guys and we will uh, see you back tomorrow evening for a live stream and uh, probably just a brief update on tackle I'm throwing and uh, kind of just chat with you guys and see how everybody's doing but uh thanks for tuning in super glad we got into a fish today bummed I didn't get it like filmed perf like right on GoPro uh, just nothing was biting at first and then all of a sudden I like came up along the rock point there right in front of me and uh kind of just thought I had got hung up on a rock and saw a bronze back like just you know float up after I had after I had got bumped and uh, sure enough he had grabbed it so super jacked for that and uh, tried to get the turn camera turned on as fast as I could but uh, we got him so super super jacked and uh, we're back out there this week guys like always put a big old thumbs up if you haven't already hit that subscribe button we got so many more videos coming and uh, just glad to be out there fishing if you are not just get out there get a pole in your hand and get out there that is the biggest thing is to get the line in the water and try it out so thanks for tuning in guys another episode of dvs fishing adventures out